Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making Southern Buttermilk Biscuits. If you suck at making biscuits, no worries, I'm gonna take you step by step, so let's go. Okay, so first you wanna start with some good old white lily flowers, the self-rising flowers, the best flower for making biscuits ever, I promise you, I love that flower. Go ahead and spoon into a measuring cup and then get your little knife and kinda level it out. That way you have it measured perfectly. Toss this into a chilled bowl. And next we're gonna add in a little bit of salt. I'm using self-rising flour, so I'm just gonna add in a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna throw in some good old brown sugar. I love adding brown sugar to my biscuits. It makes it really moist and gives it a nice little flavor. We're gonna just sift them and whisk this around. You may need to sift it as well just to get it well combined, okay? And next we're gonna add in our fats. I like to use butter and then butter flavored shortening. You can also use lard or whatever if that's your thing. Now I'm gonna grate this butter into my flour Make sure The butter is frozen, okay? So go ahead and grate it in there. You can chop it up really small, but you wanna make sure that it's super, super cold. Everything super, super cold. Biscuits love to be cold, okay? The dough loves to be cold, so keep it cold at all times. Now go ahead and get your little whisk and, or a pastry cutter or a fork and just kinda um, cut the butter and the shortening into the flour mixture just like this right here until it's like large crumbs. I'm gonna make a little well in the center of my bowl and then we're gonna add in our liquids. I'm using some buttermilk and some heavy cream. Mm, I love these two together so much. Go ahead and just mix those two together just like this and then we're just gonna add this right into the center of our flour mixture, okay? And that's super cold too. I make sure I stuck that in the freezer for a little bit. And now we're going to very, very, very gently go ahead and start incorporating that flour into our liquids. And be very, very gentle here. If, you, if you're rough with it, you're going to make a really tough and ugly biscuit. We don't want that. Handle it with care, okay? Then we're going to um, go ahead and just sprinkle our work surface with a generous amount of flour. Then we're going to plop that wet sticky dough onto our floured surface. All right, sticky dough is good dough. Then you're gonna sprinkle on more flour on top and make sure you get those hands floured up really good. And then just kind of press it around, add more flour until you know it's not sticking to your hands or to the board. And now just kind of fold it to create little layers in your biscuit. Be very, very gentle, okay? And then go ahead and pat it out into a rectangle about an inch thick or so. And now here's my cookie cutter. You can use a red cookie cutter. I like to use a cup. This cup is, I love this cup for making biscuits. Go straight down, no twisting. Just go straight down. Kind of go like an angle a little bit, but just, you know, take it right into the dough and then pull it right back out. You don't want to twist it because then you're going to make your biscuits flat. And we don't want that. I like to flour up my cutter when I do each little cut, okay? Perfect. We have beautiful cut out biscuits. Now we're gonna place this onto a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. And you can go ahead and flatten out the rest of those little scraps. The biscuits won't be as pretty for the second round, but they'll still taste just as good. So go ahead and use up the leftover dough. Place that on your cookie sheets, okay? And make sure it's cold. If it starts to warm up, put it in the fridge. You wanna keep everything cold. Now take your little finger and just make a little indention mark into the biscuits. This will help them rise up nice and tall without falling over. And then we're gonna brush them with some good old buttermilk to get it browned and to give it a pretty good flavor on top. We're gonna place this into our oven. It's at 450. We're gonna bake it for 10 to 12 minutes until it's nice and golden. And then as soon as they come out of the oven, go ahead and brush them generously with melted butter. Gotta have that melted butter. Butter makes it better, okay? So that's ready to go. Let's go ahead and break into these biscuits. They're so soft and fluffy and the taste is divine. Look at those layers we created. Go ahead and get some sausage and eggs or some jelly and you are good to go. Fluffy, golden, buttery, delicious biscuits that are so easy to make. And don't forget, you can find this recipe on my blog, dwissomecook.com with a ton of other recipes. So go on over there and check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later.